Hello, we at the digital product team at Hanson will be giving you a tour of Hanson's new customer portal hub, powered by our new digital brand, HConnect. It is all our customers' back office needs in one place. To access the hub, first type in hub.hanson.com.au into your web browser. You'll need a HConnect account to sign in for the first time. You can request it through the Create Account button. Our team will then action this request within 24 hours. If you already have an account, you can sign in using your mobile number or email address followed by your password, or a quick six digit code will be sent to your chosen phone number or email. Before we get started, please take note of this short disclaimer. The permission level granted to each user will dictate what you can or cannot see in Hub. However, for the purpose of this walkthrough, we can see the full suite of features in Hub, assuming the user profile has been granted full permission. Once logged in, the overview screen will appear where you can find a financial overview of your accounts with us. The three boxes below this shows your invoice at a glance, where you can click on the invoice numbers or the invoice periods or order statuses for a quick link to the respective invoices and orders. Next, we navigate through the remaining tabs at the top of the screen to gain more detailed information. First, let's take a look at the orders and deliveries tab. At the top left of the screen, you can adjust the period and site location. You can also filter out orders that either have tests or no tests booked. The three columns on the far right of the screen will allow you to monitor the progress of pause, bookings for concrete tests, and the status of deliveries for each order in real time. By clicking on the drop down arrow on the left of each order, a new row of information will appear, allowing you to view dockets related to the orders and access related invoices. If you have a specific invoice or docket number you'd like to view, you can search it up in the search bar at the top right of the screen. Also, if you'd like to export invoices and dockets, you can simply do so by clicking the Download PDFs toggle and selecting the relevant dockets and invoices. Click the Export button at the top right of the screen and the files will then be downloaded and sent to you via email. Depending on how much information you're requesting, you can move away and wait for it to be emailed to you. If you're looking for more information or a map view to see the trucks, you can get the on-site app, which is a more detailed version of this. Next, let's navigate to the Finance tab. Similar to the Orders and Deliveries tab, you can specify filters such as date periods, services and charges for invoices, and invoice statuses. You can also search specific invoice or docket numbers in the search bar. Clicking on the drop-down bar on the left of each invoice will reveal information about the corresponding dockets, surcharges, or services. You can also click on Details in the Actions column to check out the Invoice Detail view, which will give you a digital overview of your invoice grouped by material, similar to the invoice document itself. We make it really clear which invoice statements are linked. To export dockets or invoices, simply follow the same steps as done in the Orders and Deliveries tab, or click on the docket or invoice numbers to download them individually. Lastly, let's take a look at the tests report tab. Here, as with the previous tabs, you can filter the date period and job location and search up docket or order numbers to view specific test reports. To view more information on tests, click the drop down arrow next to each test. This will show you the specific test types, test schedules, time slots for when the tests were sampled and loaded, the test materials, corresponding docket numbers, and links to the test report. Additionally, if you're looking to do a quick follow-up with the site contact, their contact details are readily available in the site contact column. Thank you for watching, we hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you sign up for a HConnect account if you haven't already and stay tuned for updates. We're constantly updating and launching further feature announcements.